Hello once again, my people, it is I, Veed, and welcome back to Danganronpa 2. So, as of recording this, um, this is supposed to be out, uh, I'm recording this the day that it's, you know, supposed to come out, so I'm like, <laughs> time crunch, uh, hopefully I can get it out in time, so I am recording this at 6 in the morning. <laughs> so, God help me, please. <laughs> I want this to be out on time. So, last episode, um, we finished up our class trial. We found out that Peko Peko Yama was the one that killed Mahiru Koizumi. And I was like, I was suspicious of that girl from day one. I was suspicious of that girl from like the moment that I saw Mahiru's body. I'm like, bitch, how the fuck? <laughs> and it turned out that she was the one that killed her. Uh, so, we are going to see why... We got a little bit into it where she was like, I'm just a tool for Master to use. Um, so we're going to go into debate as to why she did it or if if it uh, kind of clears if Fuyuhiko actually did use her as a, um, as a weapon. So let's just go ahead and get this started. Let's find out. All right. <clears throat> Although there were some twists and turns along the way, the one who killed Mahiru Koizumi is... Uh, ho hold on a second. Oh. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> okay, I'll wait. So sorry. I'm, I'm just hesitating. Uh, there's no need to hesitate. No matter how you look at it, Peko's the killer. Why? Oh, why? Well, that's obvious. You're not a tool. You're a freaking human being. If I'm a human, then I'm not a tool. Is that what you're saying? Oh wait, if that's what you're saying, you're wrong. You just don't know. Because you just don't know. You just don't know that there are people who only exist to be tools. People such as myself. Only exist to be tools? Hey. What does she mean for you, Hiko? Oh. He's on the edges, he's gonna be like, what the fuck? <laughs> Peko and I grew up together. Um, are you two childhood friends then? Well, if he says it like that, if he's like, Peko and I grew up together, and Peko is like, I'm just a tool for him to use, then she worked under Fuyuhiko. That's the only logical explanation. No. No, it's completely different than that. Right after I was born and abandoned by my parents, the Kuzuryu clan took me in. They gave me a reason to exist. I am to fulfill my duty as my young master's property. What? Property, you say? It means she's a hitman, arranged by my clan to work directly under me. Oof, bitch. I must defend him as his shield. If he intends to kill, I must be his sword. Oh, <laughs> oh this is some hot tea. That is my only reason for living. That's not your only reason for living, girl. Like, you can become your own human being. Like, come on. You don't have to be that, that depressing. <laughs> you are beautiful. You are human. You can get through this. Before I am human. I am my young master's tool, first and foremost. Until this body of mine can no longer move, I shall fulfill my duty until the very end. I mean, you've got to admit though, like, she is dedicated, bitch. Dedicated, period. That is... But that is... You are wrong. You are not a tool, Peko. Because... If you are a tool, then what was all that time we spent together? Nothing. <laughs> just straight up, just like bland, cut, she, just like, you were nothing to me. <laughs> huh? huh? <laughs> I was ordered by my young master to behave, just as I was ordered to interact with you all. What? Our professional relationship doesn't exist on this island. We're just fellow high school students now. Right after we arrived on this island, that is what my young master ordered me to do. You fiend. 
That is why you were hiding your relationship, you mean. She did hide her relationship. However, I did find it fishy that Fuyuhiko didn't want to talk to anyone. But Pekka was the only one who could find Fuyuhiko and tell him th these things. I found that fishy since day one. I was like, Fuyuhiko doesn't want to talk to people, so why is, she talk why is he talking to you then? No. It's not as if. That started the moment we arrived on this island. Before that, my young master has always told me to hide our relationship. My young master loathes relying on his household's power. He even hates me, the tool given to him by his household. Oh no. Fuyuhiko, what the fuck? <laughs> nothing but a tool. No matter what I am told, I am nothing but a tool for killing. If my young master intends to kill, it is only natural for me to act as his tool. Then, the one who tried to kill Mahi wasn't you, it was... Fuyuhiko? Damn it. Uh, it is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> when I thought I beat that game, I was suddenly given these photographs. Damn it. Damn it. God, I don't know why. Why is my sister in these photos? Don't fuck with me. And she's she's covered in blood. What does it mean? Why can't I remember? How come I don't even know if my sister is dead? You you tried to confirm it with Mahiru, and that's why you wanted to talk to her. So yeah, I sent her the photos because I wanted to make sure she'd respond, but she never replied back to me. Not only that, she started avoiding me too. However, with with the note that you left, it makes it kind of... It makes sense why Mahiru would start to avoid you. Okay, because let's be here honest here. You have a very, very quick hot temper. You are very well known to start killing. You have given the empty threats of like, I can start the killing. I can do it, you know. Like, I'll start. I don't give a fuck. So it makes sense why Mahiru would want to start avoiding you. Because she doesn't want to die, but look at her now, she ended up dying. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure Mahiru was confused too, I mean, we all were. Before anyone played the game, we didn't even know this incident had happened. That's why, even if we told that we're connected to it, there's no way that we could accept it. You know, when Mahiro spoke to Ibuki, she mentioned something about this. Ah, uh, sorry. I actually have plans to go to the beach with everyone. Oh my, my! Wait, huh? You're not gonna go, Mahiro? If you want to talk about it, it'd be totally fine. Hmm. Um, it's pretty important, so you know, it'd be troubling to involve the others. Huh? You sound pretty serious. Um... Serious or not? can't really do anything about it on my own, so I wanted someone to think about it with me. But if I need to make amends, I would, but I don't even know how. Are you serious? That definitely sounds serious! I can cancel my beach plans for you! <laughs> uh, no, it, it's, it's fine. It, it's important that everyone gets along anyways. <laughs> Just tell them I'm not feeling well. Plus, it doesn't have to be today. There's... Always tomorrow, but <laughs> guess what? You dead. <laughs> There's gonna be no fucking tomorrow for you. Oh. She wanted to discuss how to make amends, but Hiyoko was the only one who accepted her invitation. <laughs> I, sh I should have gone too. But, but it was rather convenient. Was uh, hold on, Scruffy, Scruffy. But it was rather convenient for you, wasn't it, for you, Hiko? If you could make use of their plan to meet each other alone, you could easily lure Mahiru into a trap, right? Hey. But by calling both of them to the beach house, you were able to pin the blame on Hyoko. What the? Ser seriously, what the heck? An eye for eye. That's the world I live in. My, li Ooh. My little sister was murdered. If the reason that happened was because of some person here... I have no choice but to kill that person on my sister's behalf, right? That 
is very logical. Um, because we were also pretty much kind of, I wouldn't say born on that kind of terms when it comes to something that serious. However, it is very much like I will defend my loved ones if they are in a threatening situation. So like I said, if I saw like, you know, Sana or my brother, my mom, my stepdad, if I saw like a picture of any of them just like beat into a bloody mess, of course I was going to figure out who the fuck did it and kill them on my own terms. Or like, you know, beat them to fucking filth on my own terms. Hopefully that doesn't fucking happen. But mark my words, if I see someone fuck with them, I'm going to fuck with that person right back. And so... And so, my young master thought of a plan and executed it. I wanted to use the bat as a murder weapon, because in the game, that's what it was used to kill Girl E. For revenge, clubbing the person to death the same way my sister was killed just seemed to make sense. Even if it ruined my disguise, it was the only thing I could do to avenge my sister. That is... So that is why you... killed Mahiru with the bat? <sighs> but still... I believed her up till the very last minute, that that game was just a work of fiction. But even so, the bitch! Hey. Hey, if the game is actually real, are you the one who killed a girl E? So, she did talk with Fuyuhiko then. She did try to make amends. So what was the reason of Peko killing you then? Like, what- what had the breaking point? Why, you- Hey, I don't want to hear about that. But- The fact that your sister was killed is tr terrible. It's unfortunate, but- Why? You shouldn't have killed that girl. Shut the hell up! Uh, who cares about that? Just answer me. What do you know about that game? What are you saying? You have no right to do that. Nobody has the right to judge others for their crime. Okay, so this is what got it to the breaking point. So, Mahiru, I understand where you're coming from. However, you are definitely not in the right place to be talking. You are literally talking to <laughs> basically the mafia. <laughs> you can so shut your mouth, Gaete tu boca, por favor, and just like hear what Fuyuhiko has to say. Okay? Revenge is just wrong. Jeez. Want me to be honest? The whole, this whole time, I was acting like a coward. Even after I called over Mahiru, I was still trying to find an excuse to not go through with the plan. Yeah. But after she said that to me, that all went out the window. I got really pissed off and grabbed the metal bat that I hid under the bench. So you were about to kill her. You were about to, but then Peko swooped in was was like, nah, bitch, bye. Okay. But at that moment, <laughs> Young Master called for me and made me kill Mahiru. Huh? Huh? Young Master, I am finished. No, that's from how from how Fuyuhiko was hauling was telling it. That doesn't seem right. You probably just like swooped in. It was like I don't want you to die. You, are you saying that you killed because you were ordered to? A tool is not defined by its will, but by its actions. Uh, I, I don't get this at all. Of course. Well, of course you don't understand, because humans are completely different from one another. Everyone's birthplace and upbringing is different. It's obviously impossible for them to understand each other. So everyone just pretends to understand, and pretends to be understood. Be quiet. Hey, you're too annoying. Can you just be quiet? Yes, indeed. Okie dokie. I'll be quiet. <laughs> Afterwards... Just as my young master planned, I proceeded to tamper with the scene of the crime. However, I also considered the possibility of being found out. 
So in order to get you guys to make the wrong choice, I decided to make use of that serial killer story. It cannot be. You insisted that you were sparkling justice in order to make us hasten our votes. So we fell for it. We fell for her trick all along. That's right. You guys made the wrong decision. You voted me, a mere tool, as the killer, unaware that my young master was the true killer. I love, I love the thought process, girl. However, knowing my, uh, knowing, not, why did I say my hero? Knowing Monokuma, he's gonna be like, whoever swung the bat is the killer, basically. That's obviously not- Aldon, don't act like our loss has been decided yet. No. No, it should be decided already. Isn't that right, Monokuma? This is troubling! I'll admit, all this talk about Pekko being a tool sounds pretty persuasive. When you approach it from various angles, it makes sense that Fuyuhiko is actually the true killer. <laughs> uh, hold on, I'm telling you to hold on! I see. I see. So for Pekko, Fuyuhiko himself is your true hope then. On his behalf, you killed Mahiru. And now you're trying to sacrifice us so that you can protect him. Great! You would only go that far because he's your one and only hope. Wrong. Wrong. I have no hope. I am just... <laughs> a tool. Well, even if we asked her, she'd probably just play dumb anyways. Now then. So I'm gonna ask someone else. Hey, Fuyuhiko. What do you think? Huh? About what? Hey. Is Pekko just a tool to you? Using that tool, surviving the sacrificing Pekko, and the rest of us? <laughs> Is that your hope? Why can I not do Nagito's voice? It's probably because it's really early and I'm like trying not to be loud. And for his voice, I gotta get like that oomph, you know, like that oomph. What? <laughs> hold on. Uh, hold on. What is the use of asking something like that? What? Huh? You'd seem distressed. A mere tool doesn't panic like that, right? Jeez. Pekko, be honest. Are you trying to protect Fuyuhiko or your own free will? Hey. Fuyuhiko, can you tell me the truth? Ooh. The fact that she killed on your behalf. The fact that she lied to us about acting like the killer by acting like the killer. Are those all things you ordered her to do? Is that the truth? I... I... I um, Fuyuhiko? Yeah. I, I know you hate a guts, but... If you listen to Pekko, we're all gonna die. I... 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 Boy, you best get your mind straight because no matter what you choose, Pekko's still dying. <laughs> if you say that you're the killer, Pekko dies. If you say that she's the killer and that we all got it right, she dies alone. <laughs> Boy, make your fucking choice right now. Oh. Hello? Why? 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 I'm gonna be right back. Sorry about it. <laughs> So what had happened was my controller stopped working. <laughs> so I was like, oh shit, why is it not going? And not even clicking on it, not even clicking on like the keyboards would do anything. I was like, oh shit, I need to, I need to cut and then go back to where I was. I have like 12 minutes. I'm paying attention to the time, don't worry. I, I, young master, you just have to tell the truth. I was only following your orders. You just have to tell them that. I... 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 Fuyuhiko. You... mentioned this before, but... In this kind of situation, interacting with others will just shorten your lifespan. Those idiots, Byaki and Teoteru have proof of that. Plus... It'd be frustrating to be held back by by affection when it's my time to kill. You, you're you still saying that? Of course. I'll sacrifice the lives of everyone here if it guarantees my survival. You 
don't really feel that way, right? You're not that kind of person. Because if you were, you wouldn't be hesitating like you are now, right? Aw, oh, Fuyuhiko cares about his little tool about Miss Peko Peko Yama. Which I said this before, but like, Peko Peko Yama <laughs> shares the same birthday as me. So like, June 30th, get to it. <laughs> There's no need to hesitate, young master. Please, just tell them the truth. Young master, you were the one who ordered me. I just did as I was told because I am a tool. For you, Hiko, this could be considered your ultimate choice. Regardless, either way, you'll still lose Peko, but hey. if you insist you're the killer and sh just as she says, you can sacrifice us and survive alone. <laughs> or would you rather reject Peko and fight alongside us to against despair? Which one will be your hope? Let's hear what you have to say. Damn it. I, I, uh, I... Young master, I am finished. Oh, back to this scene. You... What the hell did you do? I was right. She did swoop in and was just like, hey, yikes! <laughs> I was right, just from that sentence alone. You already know, right? What's going to happen after you kill someone? I did it because I know. There is no way I can let that happen to you. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, am I gonna feel things? Yeah. Hey, Pekka. Do you remember what I told you when we first arrived on this island? Our professional relationship doesn't exist on this island. We're just fellow high school students now. You need to run. Got it? Just let me take the fall so you can get away. Oh no, they really do care about each other. Oh, this makes... Oh no! <laughs> oh, this is gonna hurt. Oh, this execution's gonna fucking hurt. Young master, that is impossible. Sh shut up! I'm ordering you not to worry about me! There is no way I cannot worry about you. Ooh, oh, 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 um, bitch, um, <laughs> zooey mama, girl. <laughs> uh, I gotta make jokes so that way I don't cry on camera. I am my young master's tool, a tool to protect my young master. Without an owner, the tool serves no purpose. God damn it, we are done with that crap! Why won't you listen to what I'm saying? Regardless, I will not flee. Besides, I'm fairly certain they'll discover the truth soon enough. Then, why did you... I have a plan. Huh? A plan? Oh my god. She's fuck it. listen. She can say where it's just like, I'm just a tool. I'm just a tool for my young master. But, she's fucking smart, dude. Like, she is on another fucking level. Okay, like... Sorry. We stan. Okay, we stan Peko in this house right now. Because she is fucking smart. She knows how to play the game. Oh, that's the wrong button. Please do not worry. I promise I will keep my young master alive and return him safely home. You idiot. What do you intend to do? I intend to fulfill my duty. As your tool. Now please, go! Hyoko will be waking up soon. So did she knock out- I totally thought I saw something like scurrying around the corner. Like some sort of shadow. It wasn't a rat, it was like a shadow. <laughs> I need to go back to bed. After you leave, I must block the door to the road with Mahiru's body. So, was she the one that initially knocked out Hyoko? Or did- Fuyuhiko knock out Hyoko. Who knocked out who, who knocked out Hyoko? Hyoko? Hurry. Damn it. You better run away. Got it? Just forget about me. Forget about the Kuzuryu clan. You better escape. So how about it, Fuyuhiko? <laughs> Please. Just tell me the truth. 
I'm sorry, Pekko. I guess I couldn't go through with it after all. Master. Oh no. I'm a disgrace. Because if that's actually what I have to do to survive, I just feel ashamed of myself. It'd mean I can't live without depending on someone. I just feel disgusting, but I just feel disgusted with myself. Echo. And if I admit that, it means you really are just a tool to me. How many times did I tell you I didn't I don't want a tool given to me by the Kozareo clan? Young master. <laughs> oh my. So this is how it turned out. Too bad. And here I thought it would be more brutal and heartless. Man, how disappointing. Humans don't- some humans don't act like that, Monokuma, okay? Once you get one of those inside of your game, like, bitch, it's game over, okay? Bye. Which means, everything happened thanks to her meddlesome actions. There's no way a human that meddlesome could ever be considered a tool. Hey. Monokuma. You knew all along, didn't you? You knew about what P Peko and Fuyuhiko discussed. Jeez. Well, <laughs> it's obvious now. I mean, that's why you have surveillance cameras. You were just having fun, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Man, even if it was just an act of de desperation, Peko's claim was <laughs> surprisingly interesting. <laughs> You're actually the first to try to influence the outcome of the trial like that. But too bad. <laughs> You're definitely the killer. Pekko, the tool with the hearts, is the killer. Sorry. Pekko? I'm sorry I couldn't fulfill your request. E even though you did all of that to provide me with the chance to survive. But I... I had a feeling it would turn out like this. Huh? Huh? Young Master. Young Master. You have a kind heart, despite being a Yakuza. That's why you question your position and constantly worry about it. For you to sacrifice someone else just to escape by yourself, I believe you wouldn't accept that so easily. <laughs> We've been together ever since we were children- Ooh, 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 hold up, mm, the water's getting to me. <laughs> We've been together ever since we were children. Even a tool would understand that. What? Then- why? Even so. Even so. I wanted you to escape. Oh, there's voice acting. Oh no, <laughs> I'm gonna get hit like so much harder. I wanted to protect you. Pekko. I am terribly sorry. I will not be able to serve by your side until the very end, young master. Bye. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> And I'm sorry for what I've done to you all, too. It may be a selfish request, but please forgive my young master. And please do not cause a senseless killing such as this ever again. Oh my god. Of course. <laughs> Peckle! <laughs> that will do. Monokuma, why don't you start it already? I will never feel despair. Just so you know, I will never feel despair. As long as I am a tool, I am prepared. I am fully prepared to die. So cool! <laughs> so cool! But will you be able to maintain that composure until the very end? People who act as proudly as you always shed tears of despair in the end. <laughs> now then, let's begin. Then master for you, Hiko. Please permit me to make one final selfish request. So? Didn't I tell you not to call me Young Master? I want you to remember. The tool, Peko Peko Yama, who used to stand beside you. I would like it if you remembered that. <laughs> That's it. How many times do you have to keep... I don't need any tools. You did say that. It's early in the morning, I have an excuse. <laughs> then let's begin. The punishment time brimming with despair. Jeez. 
Why don't you get it yet? Thrills, chills, kills! <laughs> For this time, the ultimate swordswoman, Peko Peko Yama. Why? You stayed by my side. All this time. Why don't you get it? Now then, I prepared a very special punishment! Oh, I don't want this to fucking happen anymore. Ooh, this got me. This got me good, dude. <laughs> I've prepared a special punishment for you. I... I never needed a sword or a shield. I never needed a tool. So... Oh no. You didn't need to become a tool. Let's give it everything we've got! You just... You just needed to be yourself. Oh, fuck my life, dude. I, I never wanted a tool. I just wanted you. Only you. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, I don't want this to happen anymore, dude. I don't want this to happen. Your master? Why? Why couldn't you understand? We've always been together ever since we were kids. <gasps> Fuyuhiko, no. <laughs> Let's go! It's punishment time! No, Monokuma, can you hold it off for like five minutes? <laughs> Please, Peko. Don't go. I need you. I don't want to click the A button. I don't want to click the X button on my controller. Young master? Young master? I don't want to watch this. I don't want to watch this happen. No. Don't fucking- Don't fucking look at me, sir. <laughs> oh no, I don't want to- I don't want to watch this. Ah, uh, <laughs> I see what you did there. Oh no, I don't want to watch this. For you, Hiko, what the fuck are you doing? No, for you, Hiko, what the fuck are you doing? Oh no, 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 no. For you, Hiko, get the fuck out of there. She's a boss ass bitch though. Oh, he's trying to save her. I'm making this episode go longer. He better fucking not be dead. He, if he's dead, I am calling the fucking police. This cannot be, even for you, Hiko. This is bad. This sh shouldn't be allowed. People dying so easily, falling like dominoes. <laughs> you bastard! What is this? You better not fucking. You better not fucking be dead. This can't be. This. Is a lie, right? Peko! <laughs> oh my god! Fuyuhiko! <laughs> oh my god, fucking. Such a waste. For heaven's sake, this is just the worst. Jeez, what a waste. This conclusion, what a waste. This is why she should have just discussed it with this. Shut your fucking mouth, Nagito. Fuyuhiko wasn't supposed to fucking die as well, so you best shut your goddamn mouth. Trap, Gaia, that to pinche boca way on. It was supposed to be a clash between two hopes, but it was crushed into something so unpalatable. Oh. Y you're still talking about that? Mm. The hell's wrong with you? Aren't you pissed that two of your friends got killed? I am pissed, and I even feel sad and hopeless. But still, Isn't that right? it's going to be all right. 
this despair is worthless. <laughs> Even this despair is just a ladder to a bright, shining future that awaits us. I'm gonna fucking snap your neck. The higher the ladder, the brighter we can shine. That is the unmistakable truth. Hmm. Calling me a ladder, huh? <laughs> you say some pretty interesting things. <laughs> In a way, you misguided thoughts of what hope should be. Remind me of him. I don't really understand what you're saying. Listen to anyway, I shall make a declaration. We will definitely destroy you. <laughs> The hopes of all the ultimate here will definitely, completely, utterly destroy you. There won't even be a strand of cotton left when we're done with you. That's your future. How much longer are you planning to say such stupid things? Don't you understand? Even Fuyuhiko died, you know. Monami, why are you looking so pissed, girl? Not yet. He's still alive. What? You best motherfucking save him, bitch. He doesn't deserve this ending. What? Everyone! Everyone! Fuyuhiko is still alive! You serious? Uh, are you serious? Fuyuhiko! Frantically, we rushed over to Fuyuhiko's side. <gasps> bitch, he looks like a hot mess. No, 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 I don't want to, no. I'm like, I'm happy he's still alive, but like, no, 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 no. I don't want this. I don't want this. He, he's still, he's still breathing. Is he going to be okay? Do something. Hey, you need to save him. Hey. He was not a guilty party, Monokuma. You best abide by your fucking rules. Monokuma, mm. best fuck. Well, serves him right. No, no, not serves him right. He is not the killer, so you best fucking save him. You're so stupid. Were you filled with hope at the thought of saving her yourself? <laughs> That's why you ended up like that. You stupid what are you so laid back about? You need to hurry up and save him. <laughs> A surprise order. Why do I have to burn my precious calories just to save some yak as a scum? It's your duty to save him! Duty? Cause it's written in the school trip rules! Oh my god, it is. If the blackened is exposed during their class trial, they alone will be executed. <laughs> if only the blackened gets executed, then Fuyuhiko shouldn't be allowed to be executed! <laughs> Well, if I could, I would do something about it right now. But since my magic stick was taking away, I'm practically powerless. Hey, hey. But you, you should be able to do it. Jeez. Uh, I guess I have no choice. Fine. Well, there's a way that I... There's no way I can violate a rule, even if it's me. So... Fine then. I'll save him. Really? <laughs> I was actually gonna do that all along, so I've actually prepared for this. I don't fucking believe you. Huh? Prepared? And that's when it happened. A siren ringing from out of nowhere. And gradually grew closer and closer. I don't trust that name. to the Monokuma Hospital ER and get him under 24-hour observation stat! Bitch, you better. So, I'll see you later! Bitch, you best fucking save that hoe. And after he said that, the ambulance containing Monokuma and Fuyuhiko vanished from our sight. Oh, um, is it really gonna be okay to leave this to Monokuma? It can't be helped. It's not like there's any other way. Perhaps. He's gonna be fine. He's gonna... He's probably gonna be, get better and come back to us again. 
<laughs> you're, you're right. He's definitely going to come back and talk a lot of smack as if nothing happened. Then all we can do is wait. Why do we have to wait for him? I mean, he caused Mahiru's death, you know. However, However we must put that aside since Pekka has already been punished. Or else we will not be able to advance forward. Fall, my tears. There are no second chances in life. We cannot return to what has already transpired. There is no other way than to move forward, like an arrow of light piercing through the darkness. <laughs> if I hear you cry. D damn it! I, I guess. Things aren't as exciting as this, as a shit stir like him ain't around. I didn't realize it, but I was wishing for that too. From the bottom of my heart, I really wanted him to return. Fuyuhiko! I didn't want anyone else. I don't want anyone else to be a sacrifice. And s I'm gonna pause it right there. <laughs> Technically, with that being said, it's a change in it's a change in scenery. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. My name is Veed. I hope that you had a wonderful time watching this. I hope that you had a wonderful time watching me get emotional real quick because, oh, oh, fuck. <laughs> Big yikes. <laughs> Make sure to hit the like, comment, subscribe buttons down below. You know, help a fellow YouTuber out. Make sure to hit the notification bell so that way you don't miss one any of my uploads. And I will see you in the next episode. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>